Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. All right, we're back here. Outdoors with Larry Ray. We roll into show number 570-something another. I've, I've lost count now. We had them all figured up. I think it's 79. I think it's uh, 579. It's 757 or 8. 758. All okay. the bases. All right, a lot of them. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We got uh, uh, giving away prizes. We got Ron Wong on the line. Let's get Ron Wong. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, buddy. Ron is in uh, Tulsa, back and forth to, to, to the Grand Cherokee. What is it? The Grand Lakes of Old Cherokee. Grand Lake of the Cherokee. Yeah, and where the uh, the Bassmaster Classic is going on, and Ron is our man on the scene. Uh, wow. And, uh, 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 you know. All, tr- all I can tell you is. Um, what? Um, this morning or yesterday. Yeah. Jason Christie yep. whacked him. Yeah, that's 20 what. pounds. He's in the lead. A guy named Greg Vinson is in second place with 18 pounds, one ounce. Um, the fishing is really slow. It is. I've never, I don't know that I've ever been to a classic where I have seen. So many guys come in with not a limit. Not a limit. Yeah. Right. And, and we and, and, and last week's show, when we talked to all these guys, and Ron will be on with me next week to kind of wrap it all up, and we were talking about predictions and things along that line, and they were thinking 20-pound ba- daily 20-pound bags or something mm-hmm. like that. And, uh, and then There's the, only one 20-pound bag yesterday weighed in. Wow. And that was Jason, wasn't it? Do what? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was Jason, and then Greg Vincent had one. Yeah, so we got. But a... Anyway, yeah, you know what? At, where I'm at the uh, launch this morning, where they're getting ready to go off. Yeah, go seven... off to seven o'clock. Yeah, and of course, a good friend of the show is with me right now. That's Deborah Hanks, and uh, yeah, Deborah. You know, All she right. Was at the, she was at the uh, expo yesterday. Well, is Deborah? Can Deborah talk to us? She can talk right now. Hey, Deborah. Hey, good. Hey, hey Deborah. Hey, good, hey, good morning. How De- you doing, Larry? I'm doing great. Good to hear your voice. Uh, you have a much better voice than Ron. I'd rather talk to oh. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. Well, this is well. This is my morning voice. I hope it's okay. Uh, oh, it's a great voice. And uh, from your perspective, De- Deborah, uh, what's it like to be at the classic like this and see uh, what's going on and, and and all the things going around it? You know, I've attended many, many, many classics, uh-huh. Larry, and uh, this is, uh, I believe, my 12th classic that I have attended in, in my lifetime. Uh-huh. And I highly recommend that if um, you have a chance, that is something that you need to do, is to come and uh, experience the classic, the expo, and all the pros um, are here that are that are fishing in it, and then if they don't make the final cut um, for the last day tomorrow, top twenty-five, they'll be working their sponsor booths. Yeah, which of course they don't want to be doing. They want to be out on the water. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, my goodness, um, it is literally our Super Bowl of bass fishing, and I highly recommend that anybody um, that can go and attend a classic, uh, they should. Many, many uh, folks come back year after year. And just yesterday at the expo, I was just uh, amazed at how many folks that I have seen over the years uh-huh. that continually come back. And uh, uh, they um, they come back just to go ahead and, uh, you know, visit the expo and see what is new out there as far as lures and, and, and uh, the boats and um, – everything in the industry, but uh, to come up and recognize me after after all these years, um, it's just totally an experience. <laughs> it's, that, a, it's, um, a, it's a family thing, and I know Ron. Family, yes, yeah. absolutely. And Ron had mentioned if it's, it, it ought to be on everybody's bucket list, and Ron knows it's 602 miles or whatever it is up there from Memphis, and uh, folks, you can drive over to Tulsa on Interstate 40 then take the one of the roads that goes up to Tulsa, it's about uh, uh, well, about six hour drive, something like it's that. It's about a six hour drive. That's right. So Larry. I mean, you can leave you know today, yeah, and and be there tomorrow. For, uh, the way in for the classic is cool. You know, it's uh, it's to see these yep. guys come in and 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 weigh their fish, 
Uh, but the expo has just, uh, and Ron, I've written about this in tomorrow's commercial appeal, uh, talking, mm-hmm. with, talking with Ron about it. And I don't think folks realize uh, what goes on. It's not just the fishing now, which is, which is great to see these great pros, but it's everything that encompasses it, isn't it, Ron? No, it is everything. You know, if you ever have it, everybody has a favorite pro uh-huh. fisherman, and a lot. You know, there's only fifty five that qualify to fish. Fifty five. Yeah. Now, come Sunday, there'll only be a field of twenty. Twenty five. That'll be fishing. Which means the others will be at the expo. <laughs> you now, get to see them. Yeah. <laughs> out of all of the pros that are out there, those that aren't in the classic, they're here at the cl- uh, expo. They are also aren't they? at the classic. Yes. Uh-huh. And I working, uh huh. And I'm working. There's sponsor booths and everything, and you have the opportunity to to interact with all of them, and so it, it's really wonderful. And there, and these um, guys, these guys, uh, you know, I hate to say that. Uh, you know, some sports uh, you can't get close to the the, the mega stars. Mm-hmm. You know, they got entourages and bodyguards, and and you're walking right. around the expo, and you may uh, hopefully, uh, you know, Kevin Van Dam will be there on Sunday. But I'm saying you have a chance to see the superstars of the sport, and they actually talk to you, and they're na- they're nice folks. You know, and they'll think, be glad to talk. Yeah, to you. and that's you're going one on one in in this thing. And that expo is is free, right? One of, one of Ron and yeah, my no, favorite. everything that is free. The weigh-in. Well, that's why Ron, Ron is there. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and food. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> and I will tell you, you know, I was walking around with a rock star yesterday for a while. Yeah. Um, a rock star. Yeah. You know, you know how people come up and they want autographs. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I had the opportunity to walk around a little bit with Deborah Hanks yesterday. And, and Deborah was, you, and, did you get? And you could, you would not believe the number of people that came up wanting her autograph, wanting a picture with her. And you know what? She is really gracious to do it. Yes, she is. All of yeah. these pros do it. It's amazing. And the Strike King people are there, right? The Strike King people are there. The Lose people are there. Yeah. Uh, this is the world's largest fishing tackle show open for consumers maybe not the world's largest but the U, uh, to us the, it is the united states largest yeah yeah it's a uh, consumer and, and, show that's open that where anybody can go and, and and deborah let me ask you a question about this you said you've been to 12 of them and uh, we're talking to deborah hanks out of out of texas uh one of our favorite guests on this show who is uh Battle a lot of uh, things in her life, health wise, and things along that line. Member of the Strike King family. Uh, when you go to the classic, and Ron was mentioning about that, uh, there's some rock stars that you get to rock star with, right? I mean, uh, you get to talk to folks oh. that you don't get to see you uh, uh, but once a year. Oh gosh, that is so true. And um, and again, it's just like Ron said. It's just like a big family. The fishing uh, fishing world is just like a big family, and to run into some of the the guys and uh, that I don't get to see on a uh, day to day basis, of course, uh, to revisit uh-huh. and you know to see what's going on in their life. I mean, uh, yes, I I definitely have my um, guys <laughs> that uh, I enjoy seeing as well. Well, and Ron, I know that uh, uh, we're going to let you guys go because the, the launch is getting ready to start here in about five minutes yes, on, on yeah. Saturday. Let me ask you real quickly before we let you go, and of course, like I said. Next week's show, me and Ron will wrap it up. Uh, going to have some special guests we'll try to arrange for next week's show. I'm not going to tell you that because knowing Ron, he, he, he may he no telling who he'll find yeah. there. But, uh, <laughs> uh, well, get, you know, I, uh, 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 hopefully uh, we'll get a, a contestant or two. That's, that's what I'm hoping. Here yeah, well, you done, you done, talk about the experience. Well, you done made my day by having Deborah on. I mean, that's okay. I can visualize oh, Deborah. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I'd rather visualize so Deborah than Ron. So, but Ron, let me that ask will. you. Let it me, takes my day to hear your voice, Mary. All right, thank you. Let me, Ron, okay, what you going to say now? What's going to take Sunday when they walk into the weigh-in now? You, you, you're you a man there. Well, all I can say is if you have nothing to do today, pack it up. <laughs> Come on to Tulsa. Visit the Expo. See, you've got time. 
to see the weigh-in tonight. Yes, yeah. Uh, you this get... evening, and then the expo tomorrow and the final weigh-in to see who becomes the champion of bass so, fishing. So what are you predicting? You know, it's going to well, be it's, yeah. it's going to be interesting this afternoon um, at today's weigh-in before they make the final day cut tomorrow. But uh, I cannot tell you how many anglers, as they crossed the stage yesterday, said that how tough and yeah. what a grind it was yesterday yeah. just to get the bites that they got. And there were, I uh, believe, about three that did cross the stage that brought in nothing. nothing. That's right. And these are three, so, uh, of, these are three I don't of the know best. Really what, you know what it's going to take uh, as far as today's weight, but um, uh, it, they really did say that it was a grind to grind out the bites that they did get. Wow. So, wow. Well, it's going to be don't interesting. Don't forget who I picked. I know who you picked. I know who you yeah. picked. This, uh, this uh <laughs> And I know that he was my he was my pick too. Uh, oh, now every, okay, it's Deborah's pick now too. Okay, it's everybody's pick in here but mine. Okay, I mean, uh, <laughs> hey y'all, Ron, uh, I'm glad you're with Deborah, so I feel a lot better about you now that you got somebody taking care of you over there. So uh, <laughs> nobody's taking care of me, Larry. You know that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, thank, thanks thanks uh, for talking to you, Ron. We'll talk to you uh, next week when everything wraps up. But uh, keep up the good work. A lot of this. We're going to get it on LROutdoors.com as soon as we can from Ron. he's po- He'll be posting stuff, bless his heart. He used to be 6'3". Now he's down to about 5'10", <laughs> so I know he's, he's yeah. squeezing in size. But, Ron, keep up the good job. Deborah, always great to talk to you. Good to talk to you, girl. Y'all have a great day, okay? Thank you, Larry. Thank you. All right. have a great one, too. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, that's, uh, yeah. before we wrap up this segment, uh, we got about two minutes. Uh, At the, to be out, you know, you know, we're in March, yeah. coming out of February. To me, yeah, I would agree it would be a grind. It's probably these, you know, these anglers I've seen, they're so used to such fast pace to, oh, yeah. from the yeah. biological end of it. At water temperature, you got to fish this time of year slow. Yeah, and this is a Highlands Lake, so yeah. it's kind of a, a different type of stuff. They had snow the last time they were right. in Tulsa. So. And so these guys are, you know how many times these guys cast in a day? Oh, man, it's amazing. I mean, these guys got bionic arms. I know. You know, I hear some, is that music? Yeah, that's music. All right, let's take a break. I hear music. Be right back, and I'll try to see how our prize situation is. Are they gone or are they getting close? Okay, all right, we'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Mississippi flows by Memphis, by Memphis.